Alright, thanks for checking out our channel. God dang it, focus, you stupid thing. Alright, thanks for checking out our channel. I said focus. Alright, there we go. There's all of our information. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to show you how to test and repair an old style Gallagher fence tester. This thing's probably 25, 35 years old. It's a Gallagher DVM2. DVM2. This used to be all orange. Um, but you can see it's all wore off. It's an old school unit. It's digital, but it's old school. Had instead of having a ground and a fence for which one you know goes where, it had two little wires come up the top. We're about oh, about three foot long, give or take. And um, then these were hooked to your fence. You just shove it in the ground, hook to a ground, whatever you want to do. These work really good for testing the fence chargers, but don't work real good. Or they work okay for testing your fence. So I just noted one problem I'm having. Both of these little leads come out. There's a little um, brass deal right there that's supposed to be on the board. See, that broke. I think somebody's tried fixing it themselves. But the brass thing and the little... Oh, this little thing came off the wire. So we need to fix all this stuff. So we're going to take the battery out. I think it's 9-volt battery. Let's check the battery real quick. Make sure it's good or bad. 8.5 not terrible so now we got to get there's a circuit board in there we got to get that out uh, I got some corrosion going on there I don't know if that's going to solve or not let's just um I'll go back to this in another video or by myself but let's install a new board in it. just get it done and out of the way get the guy taken care of now this thing is um, probably 30 plus years old, and look, brand new board, 2014, but it's brand new in the package, because <sighs> they don't make this model anymore, they make a, a different style now, these are about a $50, $60 board, or 60, $50, $60 part, or tester, to, buy, to replace it with, so we're gonna, just going to install a new board, see it's got the little terminals up here. The original ones broke, come loose, whatever you want to call it, out of there. Well, sometimes what happens, let me get a little WD-40 on my fingers. You just put a little, a little bit around that gasket, O-ring, whatever you want to call it right there. Not gasket, it's like an O-ring. And it helps slide it in there because it's a real snug fit. And sometimes a little grommet or o-ring will roll up on the thing roll up out of its place we put a little just put a little w40 on your finger and rub it around there and that helps makes it slide it in there easier see it's almost in there not quite it's not quite in there so if you can't get in there all the way by finger just take a something and just push it the rest of the way if it won't go with a little persuasion just put a little pressure down there and it's kind of tap on it still not in there come on there you go now it's in there they use good plastic so we're not going to break nothing all right let's uh let's put this battery in. it might turn on with this battery i don't know let's see what happens okay yep it, it turned on we're probably gonna put a new battery in there for the guy since it's a uh, um you know nine volt battery it's reading eight and a half, so it's not terrible. We'll tuck those things down inside there. And we'll take this little cap. Put that back on there. And this thing's basically done, minus we've got to fix fix this. So I'm gonna cut this back. solder it get 
out this little third hand holder thing hope help uh hold this and we're gonna oh, need that little, little sleeve deal put that on there first to see Slide that on there first. Put that right there. Actually, we can hold that. We're going to put this like that. Solder out. And then we're going to um, add some solder to this wire. Heat this up. It's soldered in that hole there. You can see it kind of. Eh, it's hard to see in the video, but it's bubbling. We need to see if we can pop that shit out of there. Now, it might make it easier to do it this way. Let's cut that back off again. This is twisted up. Let's just shove it in there. Oh, damn. Hot to trot. So I think that's good. So we're gonna push this back on here. Oh, you gotta slide it back up a little bit first. Grab that. Pull that. Come on. I guess it doesn't matter. So like that. I'll take the other one. Plug it in like that. Now, just to make sure it should work, uh, we're going to take this my test unit here I've got in front of me. We'll take the knobs off. And this thing, I think, puts out about 8,000. So let's put the tester across here. This doesn't have a polarity, so it doesn't matter which way I, I put my leads at. Point five, eight point six, eight point one, eight point yeah, so right around eight thousand. So this one's working fine now. Okay, so this one's basically done. I mean I if I have a nine volt battery around here, I'm gonna see if I've got one. Uh yeah, I've got one here, so we'll put a put a new Nine volt battery in. Come on.
what I may do is I may take a little electrical tape, put it around here, so it keeps that battery holder on there. But this one's basically done. I mean, there's not much else you can do to these things. It's basically brand new, except for the wires in the case. Well, that's it for this little video, I guess. We're going to call it done. I'm going to probably try to fix this board. A lot of corrosion in there. You see it down inside here. Probably from the positive terminal of the battery. Might have to pull this board out of this thing. But we got to go back in there and try to solder those back on. They go in there about center. And solder to some solder joints inside there. Might be able to save this one, but I'll see this corrosion all there too. I don't know. I'll try it later in another video or something. I don't have time for it right now. But anyways, I find another knob for this thing. How do I put it at? I'll find it in a minute. All right. Well, that's it for this video. If you need any other help? Give me hollers. All of my information. You pause it and call me or text me, email me. Send it on in. I'll fix it. Until next time, see you later.